it's been five months since I uh, published my last airport. It was London, and this time I'm bringing you KDFW Dallas Fort Worth, the eighth largest airport in the world. Depending on how you count, you can see it is one big airport, and I just finished it today and will upload it to the uh, global airports database for explain shortly. You can see in the middle a highway, a uh, Texas Highway 97, which is splitting the airport into an eastern and western part. We are approaching from the south, looking to the north, and you can see there are three runways on the left side and extensive cargo facilities and uh, the passenger terminals in the middle, and there are actually four runways on the um, east side and there's a another little cargo area on the east side. Most of the runways are run, running uh, parallel north-south. Let's uh, turn up the light here a little bit. And then there are uh, two runways that go direction 1331 and uh, they're aptly named left and right while the other ones are 18 left and right and then 17 left, right and center on this side. Um, some uh, facts about this airport. It opened in 1974. It's got five passenger terminals and um, serve 65 million and a few passengers per year. It uh, gives work to 41,000 employees and of course it's uh, just due to its sheer size it's got five fire stations so that the fire trucks can reach every part of the airport within the prescribed time limit. All this is from Wikipedia and um, you can see that I uh, put some effort into getting the uh, shoulders of the taxiways right. They have uh, asphalt or concrete shoulders depending on the sections. And um, of course this more or less doubled the time I needed for getting the just the pavement right. And um, the airport of course features all the stuff. I hope you're not getting dizzy while I'm taping, taping uh, this here. Uh, features all the stuff that came in with a 10.50 so there the taxiways are featuring the correct size limits for the aircraft you got the uh, s dynamic static aircraft parking here uh, placed by X-Plane so you'll see different aircraft parked every time you uh, run the simulator and of course um, it has an airport flow which is uh, guiding airplanes to appropriate runways and of course um, also um, will be adapted for X-Plane 11 later on for the new feature with the ground trucks. Um, as we are sweeping across the airport here, you can see that I put some effort into integrating it with the uh, streets that are in X-Plane, but of course there's some loopholes like right here where the streets cross underneath the taxiways. I had to cut them away, otherwise they would be in the, in the way of taxiing aircraft. X-Plane just doesn't handle that very well. Another feature I'm kind of proud of is placing custom runway uh, distance uh, remaining markers. You can see them on the right side there, seven, six and so on. They count down the thousand, thousandth of feet remaining. And um, there's an automatic feature, but often the signs are then in the middle of taxiway so I placed every one of these signs for all seven runways individually and um, of course this airport here is shown with uh, HD scenery mesh just to uh, give us all these uh, nice streets and railways. I did not put in the Skylink uh, terminal connection railway that is connecting all five terminals that was just not possible with the current X-Plane architecture. Well I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you enjoy flying here.